How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Today we have a video all about the information on Update 6. All being well, this very video you're watching has been released on Monday night or very early Tuesday. And this Update 6 that we're going to be talking about should be released sometime this week. By the time you're watching this video, it's probably already released. However, I'm going to be showing you all of the new cars we're going to be getting. Some of them for free, some of them for the car passes, some of them for the seasonal championships and so on. And we're also going to talk about some of the other features such as the new stories coming and stuff like that. But pretty much everything you need to know about Update 6, which comes out this week, and everything you need to know about all of the upcoming 12 exclusive vehicles over over the next month that will all be in this video so we're going to go ahead and get right into update 6 breakdown so I'm going to start with the cars to my knowledge there are only eight new cars that we're getting over the next month this will range from a couple of these cars being available in the car pass and the rest being available in seasonal championships and stuff like that believe it or not it is now the end of the car pass for anyone who has the car pass that's it we're not getting any free cars anymore because we've already got the full 42 free cars um, because we're on the 21st week, which adds up to 42 free cars. But that doesn't mean we're not getting new cars from now on. There's still plenty of new cars to come. But as for the car pass, that is now going to be over. But anyway, over the next month, the brand new eight new exclusive vehicles we're going to get are... The Quartz Regalia is coming back. I think that's how you pronounce it. I could be butchering that. I don't know. This was added in Forza Horizon 3. It is a massive car, one of the longest cars in the game, but this is coming back with a V12 engine and also with the roof down as well from standard, which looks a bit better than the roof up. So we're getting that one at some point. That will be available through a seasonal championship. And then by the looks of it, after you will unlock that car, you will then be able to unlock the Regalia Type D, which is a little bit of a different version of the Quartz. It's actually a huge off-road version of it. This car looks massive as well. There are going to be some pictures on screen as you can see, but this car will also be available after you've unlocked the previous one, the Quartz, from a seasonal championship. Now for the other cars, there are six cars here that we're going to talk about. We've got the 2018 TVR Griffith, one of the newest cars out of the cars we're getting over the next month. This is a pretty cool car, probably the most sportiest out of all that we're getting, but I'm looking forward to this one. It's going to be good. Then along with that, we're getting the 2001 TVS Tuscan S, which will be available by the looks of it through a seasonal championship at some point. Then we've got the 1959 Cadillac Cadillac, Eldorado and um, convertible this thing is a huge car as well you could probably fit 10 to 15 bodies in the boot but it seems like this is another car pass vehicle as well and after that that's it after you get these from the car pass that's it for the car pass forever another one we're getting the 1994 Honda Prelude which by the looks of it is going to come in a seasonal championship of some sort. Then we've got the 2012 Cadillac Escalade, again from some kind of championship or falls on shop. That's the majority of them anyway. And then the fan favourite 1994 Nissan Fairlady Z version S twin turbo. This will be available at some point as well. Now that is it for the new cars that are coming. Now let's talk of some of the features and updates that we're getting as well. We're also getting a brand new Horizon story which is called Skill Streak. This is basically a story where you start at one point in a certain car, you have to get to the other point and on the way you have to gain a certain amount of skill points. For example, for one star you need 25,000 skill points banked. For two stars it might be 75,000 and for three stars it could be 250,000. That's the way it's going to work. I've seen that this I've seen that this story is going to be done in cars such as the Porsche 918 and the Bugatti EB110. And it does have a pretty good reward as well. You'll unlock this brand new story at level 60. On to the next features. We're also getting a new feature called Seasonal Playground Games. Now as you know, if you want to play playground games at the moment, you have to either be in a convoy or in an online adventure. However, now you can just go straight to a playground games and it will match make you with random people in the community. So if you want to have a quick game of King or quick game of Infection, you can go to it and it will match with random people and you can have a blast. We're also getting some new clothes, random stuff like that. We're getting the Ken Block race suit, which is pretty cool. Um, and there's other bits and bobs as well, but it's the, it's the Ken Block race suit, which stood out enough for me. 
There's also his helmet as well, which is another good thing. And there's also going to be a bunch of bug fixes and stuff like that to do with sounds and glitches and stuff like that. We weren't really given, weren't really given too many details on this, but we know something like that's coming. As for update six, that's almost everything. We've got the eight cars, the new story, the new seasonal playground games and bits like that and that's everything we're getting however we do also have information about update 7 as well which is the update that's going to come after this one in update 7 we are apparently at some point going to get access again to the ford capri forza edition one of the rarest forza editions in the game there is going to be another way to get it at some point in update 7 so that's something to look forward to as long with that, we're also getting a new feature called a Festival Playlist. Now, we weren't given much info on what this is going to be, but this is apparently a mix of like the Forzathon events plus the just just a bunch of different stuff in one. Um, we've not been told too much about it, but it's apparently a brand new way to play the game. So that'll be a good feature to look forward to. And then one of the last things we were told about Update 7 is Showcase Remix which they said is like a revamped showcase events type thing. Well, we all know what the showcase events are, like the very dynamic, very dramatic events. They're apparently doing something called a showcase remix at some point, so I'm not sure what that's going to be. So unfortunately, that's all the information I have about Update 6, which is coming in a few days now. Some of the cars I'm looking forward to, it should be pretty good. And I'm also very excited for Update 7 as well now. That's going to be decent. But anyway, ladies, please let me know what your favourite feature is in the comment section below. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. And I'll see you all later.